for years, probably since we started homeschooling. I have been using Usborne books in our homeschool every single year. They are my favorite. They are the best quality. They have the most information and I just love them. And so I'm going to be sharing with you guys just a few of my absolute favorite books that we use in our homeschool. As we are all approaching the beginning of our school year, we're trying to figure out what books we want to use, if we want to get extra books to kind of supplement the curriculum that we're using and all of that. So today I want to share with you some of my favorite books um, from Usborne that are for history and science and a couple other things. But before I even begin that, I wanted to let you guys know that I am hosting an Usborne book party with my friend Julie from Stars of Jewels. I will link to her channel up above so that you can go and check it out. And I'm going to have the link to the party down in the description box. Now, I am not asking you guys to even go and buy anything if you don't want to, but go browse. Just go look through and see what they have because you're going to see that they have a lot of really great stuff. And I've been buying from Usborne for years and years and years. I mean, probably seven years, six years, something like that. I've been buying from them since we started homeschooling. And I just, I think their books are the best. I think even their chapter book, I think their books are just so much better than a lot of the other books that you get out there. Um, just even from a regular bookstore, from Amazon or whatever. And the quality is much, much better. They last so much longer. So if you're browsing through that online catalog, the link is in the description box. If you're browsing through that and you see that the prices might be a little bit more than you think, Look at these books here. I'm going to show you each of these. They're amazing. They're such good quality. So even if you end up spending like $2 or more than you might have wanted to, it is going to last you and it is going to have such high quality and such good content that for me, I have always found that it has been totally worth it to buy Usborne books rather than getting some cheap used book on Amazon or something like that. And also just so you know, I'm going to be hosting everything over on my Instagram. So go ahead and uh, follow me over on Instagram so that you guys can be a part of this party. It's going to be a lot of fun and it is going to be ending this weekend. So there's not that much time. It's just a few days just to kind of see if there's any books that you guys would like to get. And if you do, obviously follow that link and go pick them up. First, I'm going to start with these two books. I have the stories from around the world and then also the Usborne Greek myths. We actually have used these as bedtime stories for our little boys. They have loved these so much. These books are incredibly, do you hear that? Incredibly high quality. They are so good and look at how, I mean, how bright and colorful they are. They're so beautiful. So look at that. I just love these books and everything is written in a way that is just very entertaining for kids without dumbing down information. Like it's has so much information, but it's just, I, I just love it. I know I, I don't have enough good things to say about us born. I've loved these books forever. So anyway, so this is the Greek myths book. And then here's the stories from around the world. And you could obviously use both of these books within your um, history curriculum or with your history curriculum or as your history curriculum or whatever you want to do in your homeschool, because this is amazing. It has so many things. There's even a cool map. It has just so much here for you. You can see they have stories from Australia, Persia, Greece, France, just all over the world. So this would be really fun if you're doing world history to pick a different story with each part of the world that you're studying. That would be really, really fun. And next up are a few science books that we have loved. Uh, the first one is the hundred things to know about science. And then last year with our book shark, we used these two books, which is the Usborne books, a book of science activities, volume one. And then, oh no, wait, was this from book shark? Or did I get this on my own? I can't actually remember that now. And then this one is the first encyclopedia. <laughs> this one's the first encyclopedia of the human body. And this one is really cool. It has, look at this. How gorgeous is this? It's so amazing. And then one of the cool things about these books is that they have internet links. And so if your kids are really interested in this, you can go to this quick link spot and you can actually learn more about whatever's on this page, which is amazing. Especially if you want to be raising these self-led learners. I mean, this is just like the way to go. So I just love these books there. I mean, how could a kid not enjoy this? This is just, it's so interesting. And look, they even change the way the book goes. I mean, they just make it so much fun. I've shared this book before in my Usborne haul. So this is just all the science activities that you can do. This is really neat. And then this one we love. This one is a hundred things to know about science. And my boys love any of these books that have just tons of information all in one place. How cool is this? So 30 is the smallest living organism is almost invisible even under a microscope. And then it talks all about that. So this is, this is fun because you could totally incorporate this in your science for your homeschool, but this could also just be something that you like leave out and let your kids read. 
because it's just so interesting. Now, the rest, oh, this big, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. This big, huge pile of books. These are all our history books that we love. Some of these I've had for years and I use them every single year because they're so good. So the very first one, we used this one with Bookshark last year. This is Time Traveler. This is really cute. It's really fun. It's entertaining for the kids. And once again, high quality pages, high quality book, and tons of color and tons of information. So we really, really like this one, just time traveling throughout history. Here I have the Usborne Book of World History. This one is really, really good because it just has everything in here. So it starts, you know, at the very beginning with the first settlers and just goes through history with just so much information. It is just so, like, how cool is that? I know my kids love looking at pages like that. So this is just really neat and really fun. And I love the thing about their books where they have like that little bit of information and then, you know, you move on to another little bit of information. It makes it really easy for younger kids to follow along. So I like this book a lot. I probably should have included this in the science section, but I like to include this with the history section because you can kind of, um, when you're in a certain part of the world, when you're doing geography, you can find the animals that are in that part of the world. So that's why I like this book for history. So obviously it is gorgeous gorgeous and everything in here is just so chock full of information you can see they have a lot of internet links again throughout the whole book and then it goes through just so many different animals and it is just so incredibly neat so here's an internet link if you want to learn more about that or that part of the, that animal or that part of the world you click that link and learn more it's so cool these books are the best and I really honestly think that you could take one of these books you could do an entire unit on animals just from this book. I think it would be so easy to do and so incredibly affordable. This book, I don't know if it's still the price, but on the back it says $16.99. So can you imagine this huge book for $17 and you could do your entire kind of like zoology or animal curriculum from this book. The next one is the Living World Encyclopedia. This one is also gorgeous. This one's not a hardcover, but I think I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure that you can get all of the books in the library bound version or in paperback a lot of the time. So this one is paperback, but still the quality is just amazing. It's so beautiful. So this one would be really fun to kind of use along with that animal book. And now I have my three favorite incredibly heavy books from Usborne. These books are amazing and I have used them forever. So the first one is the Usborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia of the Ancient World. And it's even kind of worn out a little bit on the cover because we've used it so many times. But as you can see, even though we've used this book, the spine is in like perfect shape. It is so strong and heavy duty, which is in my opinion, one of the best things about Usborne books is that their quality is so high. So here, this is all about the ancient world. So obviously it's going to start back in the early civilizations. Here's kind of what it looks like in there. And it has, you know, everything all the way through the Roman empire. And it's going to have all of those internet links again. So this one is definitely one of my absolute favorite books to use for ancient history. It is, it is the best. You could totally take this massively huge book and make it into curriculum and use um, easy peasy all-in-one online homeschool. That's a website. I'll link it in the description box. You can use this along with that and like cover the entire ancient world for whatever, however much this book costs, $20 or whatever, and have your entire curriculum for history. And then you can incorporate writing and all those other things into it for, you know, such a tiny fraction of a price. So that's why I love these books for homeschool. Now this one is the Usborne Encyclopedia of World History, again with all of those internet links and this kind of just goes through all of world history, lots of different things. It looks very similar to that other book and it's just so good, just so high, such high quality. So I love this one. And then lastly, my kids really like this book. It's the Usborne Children's Encyclopedia. This one is so great and look, it even has QR links, which is just so neat. I mean, it's like so modern and fun and just so tech savvy. So here's some animals out oh, and then you can see there's a QR code right there. So you can just scan it and look it up. And then the section about how your body works. There's just so much in here, but as you can see, like it's very good for young children. It's something that they can look at and be incredibly entertained and want to read more and just really, really like it. Look how gorgeous that is. So this book is incredible just to have in your homeschool classroom or even just even in your home. 
even just even in <laughs> and even in your home because it's just it's so good and such a great book to have so this is a book we've actually kept kind of on our coffee table in our um, living room just because I like the kids to be able to grab it and look at it whenever they want so that's everything that I wanted to share with you from our family library that we love that we purchased through us more so if you would like to get your hands on any of these books please follow that link in my description box down below and make sure you're following me on Instagram so that you can be a part of the party over there if you guys have us more books that you've been using in your homeschool or in your home or just reading with your kids can you let me know by putting those in the comments down below because I would love to know what your favorites are so that I can get those for my family as well thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great day